My name's Wardrick Dillow. I'm Professor of Endocrinology and Metabolism at Imperial College London. My research focuses uh, very early stages to investigating how new hormones mediate their effects and then later on translating this into patients with a view to developing new therapies for patient benefit. So my research involves a number of international collaborations, both European in the States and worldwide. And it's by bringing together the expertise of all of those collaborators around the world with their own individual expertise. I'm a clinician by background and then had a scientific training. Others are basic scientists or have other experiences. And that together, the synergy that you bring of new ideas generates new research and progresses science in a way that you can't do individually. Working internationally um, in leading research is critical. And this is because as uh, research has developed, you need lots of expertise, different people working together, and actually in rare patient groups, for example, you can bring together all of the European populations. You can then look at their genetics, identify new hormones that cause disease, and then investigate those with a view to developing therapies uh, to treat patients. And that's uh, effectively what we've been doing over the last decade and develop those collaborations. My research group uh, is essentially picked, uh, we've picked the best people to, uh, who have got the highest academic potential to work with us and that's simply the bar that we set. It's a very high bar, Imperial and other uh, high, uh, high impact universities set a very high bar and we don't really care where the person comes from, whether they're male, female, etc. It's about the scientific excellence of the person, the scientific uh, project uh, and getting the funding to do that. And with the collaborations that we have European and worldwide, we would want the best people coming to Imperial and all other UK and other universities to achieve the best results. And the only way you do that is by breaking down barriers. Currently, there's very little roadblocks to international collaboration because I think everybody's very keen. All scientists, clinicians, clinician scientists can see the value of inter international collaboration. With email and all the other uh, devices that we have now, Whereas before you had to go and visit places, you can do everything on Skype or email, so it's incredibly useful. So one, for example, collaborator we've got in, in America on a current paper, he's collaborated on a number of our projects and is the world's expert in analysing some of the data that we generate. So this has been incredibly useful. We meet occasionally at the scientific meetings, but actually most of our work is done by email or uh, over the web. So this is an incredibly powerful way to move science forward.